So let's have a look at the water signs with the supermoon energy. What's going on with the tarot? So first we'll start off with Pisces. Pisces in the supermoon. Do check the rest of the videos. I've done Oracle Moonology as well. So with full moon in Sagittarius, we need to look at the bigger picture. We need to learn to grow, develop with the uh, planet Jupiter to expand our luck and prosperity. So for Pisces, we have the Magician, a great card to embrace that everything is in your power. Releasing the ability that you don't think that you have the power is very self-sabotaging for Pisces. So be a little bit more gentle with yourself. Know that your destiny is in your hands, literally. When we bring together the knowledge of our spirituality along with where we want to go, this is very powerful. Magicians are powerful. It's like changing things, the alchemy. But it's putting your thought and your heart in the same way. And we can see this here with four Pisces with your major arcana card, a double message of the magician. So, <laughs> so this is an amazing message for you guys that when we have the magician, it brings down your soul purpose. So I think this is you will see the difference between what you've tried to manifest and what you're going to manifest is down to you. So for Pisces as well, very strong to have double magician. So with Pisces as well, you are finding with the Six of Swords, you'll be travelling through that mindset. You'll be travelling through the imagination to expand that consciousness. When we have those beliefs, when we have those visualisations, we can actually know what to do. So a lot of you are trying to get your careers going. And I really feel for Pisceans, your time is to shine. A lot of you are going to use that little bit of imagination and visualization to set this going. So this is going, this is where the magic lies within your own capabilities of imagination. That's why I'll often say with tarot, have fun, really have fun within life, and really expand that consciousness. You've also got the King of Swords, another thinking card. So. For you, see the vision, find the inspiration and make that magic happen. It is now. If you're not focused with your new mindset and your good intentions, nothing will happen. But your message today with the double magician is definitely making things happen. So next we'll go on to Cancerians. This is for Cancer. So... Let's see what you need to let go of and what you need to embrace. All full moons are great for releasing stuff. Wow, I don't believe it. <laughs> well, I do, because with the full moon, it is all about letting go. So this Six of Swords is traditionally moving away from things that aren't serving us. So sometimes it is with help that we do this. And for Cancerians, you often get the chariot, which is in the same direction, moving your thoughts and your mind. But for Cancerians, really looking at your home, if you want to move home, move environment, move to anything that is going to serve you, one has to drop the self-doubt and the self-disbelief of these happening. So your um, major arcana card is the High Priestess. So this is about going within and using the philosophy of Sagittarian energy to highlight your soul purpose, your destiny. So really having a look, Cancerians, at your destiny between where you are travelling through. So spirituality may be rising its head and psychic abilities. So this is one of the things that a lot of you would really love to embrace. So also for Cancerians, we've got the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups has always been about disappointment and sadness. So emotionally, that is one of the things that we have to let go of. Highlight the disappointment and the sadness. Don't overly uh, embrace it about exes, about things that haven't worked out. When we have the High Priestess, this, this is following your destiny. This is pulling down your soul purpose. It's karmic. So... 
don't be too disappointed that we didn't end up being a millionaire right from 18 or we didn't have that perfect marriage at 21 etc etc so look to the value of who you are as a person because within the five of cups traditionally it's always the two of cups that are quite hidden or we're not focusing on it so really focus on that element and see things blossoming so go with your intuition guys and really embrace moving away from the old and really embracing the new good luck cancerians and for scorpions so what do we need to know for Scorpios in this super moon, strawberry moon? So Scorpios, you have the Knight of Swords. This is a really interesting one for you guys because a lot of you are into philosophy as well and things that are hidden. And one of the things that we have to really embrace is making our own thoughts count. So when the Knight of Swords follows the king or the queen, they're, they're like a puppet. So the mindset is very much like that puppet. So expanding negativity is something that one needs to let go of. That is definitely something to, you know, say goodbye and release and really come out like the phoenix rising. The really thoughts that come to us now is pure in good intentions. So when we look at your major arcana card, it is the sun. So instead of looking at the negativity, this is the total embrace of the positivity. So highlighting the goodness within our life will bring that to, hei to height. So because the supermoon is today, which is June the 14th, this is going to bring that sunshine, bring that height of the summer moving into it shows here that we have to be busy, but if we are letting go of those busy negative thoughts, we need to be more simplistic, reminding ourselves that our thoughts are our own creation. So for Scorpio is also embracing, let's have a look, Ooh, the King of Wands, how wonderful. So with the King of Wands, this means that being very passionate, very young. So that's being proactive. It's very much about starting. So when we release something, that creates a space to bring something new within your, your life. So finding the responsibility and really finding that youngness will bring about change. So this is absolutely fantastic. You've gone from the Knight of Swords where we follow the king to become the king when we look at that positivity. So for Scorpios, this is a really good intelligent move to actually make when we expand our consciousness, our way of thinking in a more upbeat, very will-powered way and desire, we find that we are that king. Enjoy the supermoon, guys. <laughs>